Hello, my name is Vic. I am a customer success manager on the Dash team, and today I'll be showing you the creation process for our smart links. So, just again so you know, you can click here on the bottom left on these double arrows pointing right to see which one the smart links tab is. We go into smart links, we'll go here in the top right to add smart link, and we'll start off with a with a weighted smart link. So we'll add in the mandatory fields, our publisher name, <clears throat> Vina Digital, test one, and then below we'll choose the offers we'd like to apply the smart link to. So we'll choose the first two. Scroll down, bottom right, click on add selected. Now we can play around with these. So let's say for example this is weighted at 50-50. Now we can play around with this weight. Click 10, press enter. Now this will be, for example, if there's 10 clicks, nine clicks will go uh, to jump the rock. One will go to test offer subway. You can play around with it a bit more precisely if you'd like with the tab here, or you can just always auto set it at 50-50. If there's more than two offers, <clears throat> you can lock one. Let's say this one you'd always like to be at 50, and the other two will have uh, the option to um, change the weighting for that. So I'll just give you a quick example. <clears throat> Go back to add smart link. Now let's choose three offers. One, two, and three. We'll add the selected offers. 34, 33, 33. Let's change this one to 25 and we'll lock it. It's grayed out, indicating that it's locked. Now the other two you can play around with. It'll all add up to 100%. <clears throat> so here, you can lead 3540. You can even do 750, but of course you'd not like to do that. And we can do, let's say, a more 65, 60 and 15. So this is just a lock functionality if you have more than two offers. Um, generally, it's best to play around with two offers just to really try and optimize your performance and see which offer is doing well with which publisher, and then you can play with the weights accordingly. Now, let's go back. Uh, we'll just switch to targeted. We'll add in the same publisher, Freenet Digital, same name, sorry, same name as test one. We'll choose the same two offers for simplicity. We'll add those offers. Now, here you'll see you have to choose default for one of the offers. Let's say we choose default for the first offer, test offer subway. The second offer is not default. We'll edit some parameters, target parameters. So we'll add in country, Bangladesh, for example. We'll add in device manufacturer, say, Apple. We will add in device type even. App. Maybe even connection type to make it well rounded. We'll submit this target. Now, this is the target criteria that we have set. All the traffic relating to this target criteria will flow here to jump the rock. Everything outside of this traffic. Uh, sorry, target criteria or exit traffic will go to test offer subway. So again, the criteria that you set is the target that the traffic will go to. Anything outside of this criteria will go to the defaulted or test the offer subway as shown here. Save that and you're good to go. The details page here with the associated target criteria. <clears throat> and that's how you create smart links. I hope that was helpful and informative for you today, and I'll see you on a future video. Thank you very much.